Then I tried the Filmic Pro because I read, uh, I uh, saw many reviews, I read so much about it and I thought, yeah, you know, this guy is a is professional. Uh, I think uh, everyone uses it, so uh, I think it's awesome. Well, it is awesome. You have nice features like the audio and the coolest one is, um, the focus rack, you know, so you set a f an in a focus point here and another there, and as you record, as you uh, you're recording, you can tap on the in and out point, and it goes rack focus by itself, and it's amazing. Uh, exposure lock, white balance lock, and so on, and other cool features like uh, here the histogram uh, are really really cool. Uh, but with my iPhone, uh, I had really, really, really good problem, uh, big problems on frame dropping. In any situation, 1080p uh, at 32 megabits per second or um, uh, 4K at 50 megabits per second, I always had at least two frame drops uh, any 20 seconds of clip. So uh, for me, it wasn't really, really uh, the, 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 the best app to, to use. I wrote to the um, Filmic Pro support and they answered me many times. Uh, but for now, even uh, they put a new release, I, I still have that problem. Then going uh, and searching on the App Store, uh, I found another one uh, and it's called Mavis App. <laughs> 